So today's two major hot topics on taking care of business are hybrid working mm. and mm, <laughs> mm. <laughs> <You're> chewing, <laughs> yummy, <laughs> and our new office which is opening in Vision Tower. It's not a Vision Tower, we're in Vision Tower. Yeah. It's in Control Tower in Motor City, Motor, which yeah. is our largest office we've ever had. How many square feet is it? Uh, just shy of 14,000 square feet, and which totals 50,000 square feet of premises we have right now. Wow. Some serious uh, square footage and o- overheads. Over- a lot of overheads. Uh, we're talking about uh, our new office day, but also very topical, and it has been for some time, hybrid working and... Uh, constantly there is a debate in our office and, and uh, you know, generally across the industry about staff. staff, yeah. Is there a place for hybrid working, specifically with us in real estate, but in general as a whole? And and I really our take on hybrid working, particularly with our new office who we're gonna be opening in the next two weeks time. So I think I'll, I'll start off from the bat and say, hybrid working for me in the vast majority of cases in our industry does not work. And the reason for that, why I say that, is because so many fantastic ideas come from people speaking to each other. But I also think as well, in our industry, it's very much about collaboration. It's about working with other people. Yeah. Um, you know, sitting behind your desk for eight, nine hours a day, it's a difficult... It's, it, one, you've got to be a certain sort of someone to be able to be that motivated to work on your own all day. But secondly, you know, being around other people just creates such good things and good feelings. So in in this industry, I don't think it works. I think maybe there's a place for a day or two. Look, I think there is a realistic chance you can do your job. I mean, if you look at the lads behind camera, Ray and James, when they were doing their, um, their, their job in lockdown, they were able to digitally do their job. But there comes a point, whether it's day one or day three or day five or latter after that, that you need to understand the business, what's going on in there, being around people. I think I think people can do their job, but if, can you excel in your job? Can you get better? I don't think you can. And let me to tell you why. You learn a lot from being at the pool table with someone or standing at the printer with someone and having a conversation with someone and understanding what they're doing and taking their mic and coming into morning meetings and discussing what's going on in the market. I mean, how this is the concept for hybrid working or to this remote work that people talk about. How are you meant to get better if you're not around good people? This is the thing. So perhaps there is a place for hybrid working on a very small scale, but can you honestly tell me, and this is a rhetorical question here, that people are honestly more productive working from home than they are working around other people? Let me tell you how my day goes if I'm <laughs> if I'm hybrid working. And I am someone that gets distracted very easy in life anyway. So I'd be sitting at home and I've got a lovely office to go and work and I've got, I've got no distraction except for maybe my kids, Smiler, pushing nose against the <laughs> glass and putting a tongue out at me and saying, Daddy, when I'm on Zoom. But except from that, I mean, when I'm sitting in my office, I know I'm not productive. I have really good days, okay, where I just go through and there's no distractions. But if I do that on a long-term scale, what happens is I'm typing, then my wife will say, do you want something to eat? And I go and have lunch. Mm. Then I go back to my laptop. But at that point, Netflix might come on. And then you go over <laughs> and go, what's going on there? It's Stranger Things accidentally come on. Accidentally, accident. Series 4 is on. Oh, um, really? Not part two, the first yeah. eight, eight episodes, which is great. Shout out to Vecna if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> In the upside down world. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just think that you naturally you get distracted. And what happens, I'm just going to be honest with you, you end up getting lonely. You work in a room all day, no matter how nice your office or room is. And probably lazy. That's Lonely and lazy. Low, that's a bad combination. That, that's <laughs> like a hangover. That, that. <laughs> We're really not selling remote work in here, are we? Do you know we? what? For me, I feel like when I have a one a, a day every couple of weeks, I can actually get, get a lot doing. Because when you're in the office, you're around, so much of things are happening. It can be a distraction, but... For a day. For a day. Yeah. After that day, it's like, right, my dogs have been around me for <laughs> the old day. My kids have I'm been around me. still. I want to get back to work. So, for anyone listening to this, an educational piece, really, obviously, Dubai have launched their remote visa scheme. So, I just want to talk to them very quickly if anyone's watching this. 
how and what the costs are for remote visa schemes because obviously we're talking about hybrid things important to drop some a nugget of information in there rather yep. than just talk about Vecna and uh, <laughs> and Stranger Things 4. Uh, if you're an employee, uh, employee needs to prove, provide an employment contract valid for one year from your current employer. So this is for remote working. So if you're in England, you're coming over, show you uh, show that. But you do need to earn 5,000 US dollars a month. Wow. Um, and also, you need to provide a salary stip and your last bank step, three bank statements to prove that money's coming in. That's for an employee. For an employer or a company owner, you need to prefer, provide a ownership of company that you've had it for more than a year, an average income for £5,000, and again, company statements to prove that. To process the visa is 287 USD. And then you can go and work at Almasine Beach with a cocktail. That's the dream. Do you know what? It's, it, I, whenever I go to a mall or let's say I go to somewhere during the day, it does, it, it's still, it blows my mind when you see so many people not at work. I'm thinking, what are you doing? How are you not at work? I actually say to Georgia from the, why are they not at work? And I'm walking past so like, like, you know, a grumpy old man. <laughs> yeah. We, um, I mean, obviously we talked about remote working and hybrid working and uh, Apple and Google uh, do a policy where right now they do three days in, two days off. Um, but what we've done- That's is, kicked off by the way. I think we just mentioned that very quickly. Going back to like the woke world and I know it's a very political subject, but um, I don't know if you've seen it or not. So they went fully remote, didn't they, Apple? Yeah. Anyway, so they sent an email out, I think at the end of last year saying, come May, you are going to be back in the office three days in, two days out. Letters have gone to the CEOs and chairmen saying, um, we're resigning. We're resigning. It's not fair. Um, it's sexist. It's racist. Oh, it's this, God. it's that, because they've got to now travel and they're not used to traveling, blah, 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 blah. And I just think, go to work like you were working two years ago. <laughs> this is the problem. People are having things taken away from them that they're not used to. Yeah. And the reality is, is you were in work two years ago, so nothing's really changed because two years ago. comfort, isn't it? But we, we, we obviously identified the fact that some people do enjoy working from home, which is fine. But with our new office, we, which are open in a couple of weeks' time, we wanted to have that thought process where you're not at home, but you have as many home comforts or is, is as comfortable and is as collaborative as we possibly think it can be. So do you want Named. to- all sup and all sup, the hub is the ex is the concept that we are calling it. Exactly. So there's, it's not just an office with lots of desks. We've put some real thought into when you come to work, how can we make your working day an experience and really a place where you don't really want to leave other than... I think that was, like, that was my fear. When we were mapping out the office, I said to myself, I know the way the world is going. I remember me and you talking about in the boardroom, we had big arguments about... DJs, no DJs. Obviously, me and Carl in the boardroom with the brothers, we end up going, you can't do that, you can't do that. It's the big um, decisions about yeah. DJs you D make. I know, yeah, that's, <laughs> a, that's our big decisions. And we were going through the concept of what we want to achieve. And I think what came out of it for me is I realized the world is changing and the concept of an office for me has changed. And the big word that come out of it is collaboration. So there's a couple of factors in our offices that are worth mentioning. Obviously, we have a DJ which would be there Friday, I think two till five, is that what it is? Yep. Three, out, three hours every week. And we've got top five or six DJs in Dubai. Um, to give everyone an idea of how that's going to work, we've got an agreement with them where they will come in and they'll be able to promote their events for our businesses, but they will come on and do a set for us. Uh, so that, again, collaborations with third parties. We've got Chaps & Co. Uh, potentially coming in the hairdresser. We're just negotiating and finalizing that contract. Um, where they will come in once a week to cut hair for um, the, the men in the office. For the ladies, we've got... Um, nail Salon. Who? Nail Salon. Yeah, well, it's... Um, I don't know the company, but a Nail Salon. Locks by Lulu. Okay. So it's Dean Munro's wife's company, the number one hairdresser in the salon in, in the UAE. So she's coming to look after the girls' side of things. And then obviously we've got KCAL. Yeah, coming healthy in, food, being responsible there. Being responsible, look fueling people's you waistlines. up. Um, so all these collaboration points that we've got, and then obviously- oh, don't stop forget, tailors. Of course, suited and booted, big up. It's got them on now actually, a bit tighter than normal. But, <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what? All these partnerships that we're bringing into to the company is about convenience. So when people come to work, yes, they're going to work, Yes, they can eat, have drinks, eat, but during the day, they can have healthy food, they can have their hair cut, they can have their nails done, you know, they can have a massage or whatever during the course of the day to kind of make them. Well, literally, just before we come down here, have my hair cut yep. downstairs, 
And the only reason I've gone there is hair roulette again. You go in there, you don't know what you're getting. <laughs> I think I didn't know. I haven't actually looked in the mirror since the haircut. Um, but I've went there for that convenience factor. It's the same thing with coffee and food and everything else. Our job really is to make it really easy for the agents to continue their job whilst going through life experiences of whether it's eating or getting yep. a haircut or speaking to people. So dotted through offices is stuff like we've got... Um, you know, social areas with TV screens built on to go and present your new listing to your team or sit with a marketing or team. Or just go and have a coffee and just talk about life or work at the moment, just to go and get people speaking together. Yeah. It doesn't happen enough sometimes. So I mean, that concept's given an interesting one. I think that if we roll it out correctly, it'll be probably the, 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 the future of, I think other businesses, they will, that collaboration working is, is quite But there's lots thing. of things dotted around the office, not just collaboration booths and, and, and areas to speak to. Obviously we've got um, our own indoor coffee shop baristas area. Yeah. So basically you're a, a client of all stuff and also you'll come in and have grade A coffee, you know, proper uh, barista area. We have a counter and chalkboard of all what, what things you can order on. Also got anyone familiar in the UK, a tuck shop. In the, in the office so anyone that wants all the goodies they want sweets or they want now I'm on KCAL fuel up plan at the moment which means I'm on a meal plan yeah. but that'll end conveniently yeah. around the time there's monster munch flaming hot monster munch they've got Roysters monster oh munch God. and maybe a, a dime bar as well they have happy. T-bone Roysters oh, I wonder so if they good. still exist or not you can get them we're getting them for the shop pot noodles I don't know no no pot noodles are dated I had one recently I had the uh, chicken chow mein and it's just watery noodles it's not the same anymore it's like what did I say we're talking about Charlie's Grilled Sub we had 10 years ago and I had one last week just disappointed I, the nostalgia when you get it and it's just this crap we've, we've moved salmon. on we, our palates have moved on sadly <laughs> so yeah we've got obviously a, a tuck shop which I have in the office so it get all, get, all blends into coming into work you don't really have to leave the office my question to you with this then is what we're doing do you see other companies following suit with this? Not in real estate. Is this a trend you will see? Collaboration of trying to get employees from remote working vibe mm-hmm. into a more... Well, if you just check out, Google have opened a new campus and it is absolutely amazing. And if you look at the campus, obviously the big the big thing at the moment is eco-friendly. So the whole... It's like a dome, basically. So a lot of it is... Um, self-generating power but a lot of the space inside is it's open it's collaborative it's colorful it's That's vibrant cool. so i'm looking at the picture here now and it's just sofas collaboration spaces and just drinking and food areas it looks like a home rather than a, an office which is but he's slouching there what's he slouching in the office for it's, it's, it's a Google thing, isn't it yeah, they do what they do, do, what do but thing. that's the whole thing with, with with this workplace. We want to make sure everything you want to have during the day, we you, you can have, and that's why I believe the hybrid working. We're doing the best of both worlds. Where yes, you're not at home, but a lot of home comforts will be on your doorstep. Very true, and that's our thought process on the offices and hybrid working. Yeah. So we we'll look forward to showcasing our new office in a couple of weeks' time. We'll put lots of videos online to show show you, you know, what we're doing, what we've been doing. And of course, if you're working in the industry or are looking to get into the industry, we are very much hiring. We have a minimum of 250 positions that we need to fill between the now and, and the end of the year. And that ranges from really uh, short holiday homes, sales, lettings, if you're a mortgage advisor. We're hiring, if you're a creative, we're hiring for all stuff and all sort of digital new business that we're opening. Our recruitment yeah. business is, is month on month growing so, so again recruiters for the business do reach out make a comment in below subscribe to all of our videos and also reach out to me or lewis on slide in our dms instagram oh what's your handle do you know it's carl also very boring i thought it was like a big carl or <laughs> a big carl at, du- at dubai <laughs> lanky lou at now, lanky lou I'll, i leave you with this one what was your playstation handle because i know it oh god so yeah, me and Lewis are gamers. So my PlayStation handle was, sorry, it's changed now, Dubai Destroyer. Everyone knew who the <laughs> Dubai Destroyer was. He was the man online. I, <laughs> do you know what I got given that name, the Destroyer, many years ago playing football because I can never get away from it. So anyone anyone knew who was, my, I was, wasn't very covert. Mine was Lewis also up Dubai. Can you, <laughs> so can you also everywhere. share one of your original aliases on PlayStation? What was it? What, Fly LDA. Swamp. Swamp Donkey, yeah. He, so he Lewis, was a hero on Call Lewis of Duty. had a nickname when he was younger, by the way. Just so you're, when you see him out next, his uh, name was Swamp Donkey or Swampy. 
It's a good man. It was. <laughs> he, he, he died many years ago. Rest in peace, yeah. Swampy. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that feedback. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.